What is up, Parmaniacs? Parlstasis here. We are back in the world of Life is Feudal, and you can see... I've, I've, I feel bad, because I, I feel like I've done like a, a massive economic or ec ecological disaster. It took me a few minutes to get ecological out of my mouth. It's not a, not a normal thing here for, for me in Texas, but uh, I, I've done this horrible biological, ec ecological damage to the to my beach here. I've turned it into a, a, a horrible, like, stony shithole. Although, in all fairness, there was a very thin layer of sand over all of these rocks, which I think I may have done the world a service by doing this, because it, it just wouldn't have ended up well. Um, I did make a really cool berm over here, which I'm kind of proud of. And you can see it's all pretty much perfect until you get to, like, right here. <clears throat> And the reason was, is I wanted to turn it 90 degrees and run it here so we didn't affect our uh, our furnace or whatever. And I, I just, I could not for the life of me, like I had that equal with that, but I couldn't get that in the middle to balance out. And I think it's because we're halfway, you can see we're like kind of over like a middle chunk here, and then this is a chunk here. I'm calling them chunks because I'm using Minecraft terminology, but... Basically, it's this side and this side, and I think it's going to make it almost impossible to turn it the way I want because of the way it's set up. I may be wrong, but what I'd have to basically do is make this a peak and that a peak, and I, I just don't think you can have a peak midway between chunks. I think it's just one of the limits of, of the game and or the engine, or I'm just retarded. So, I mean, you can take your pick. Any of those can be possible. But I, I have done a fairly decent amount of... Why are my skills not popping up? There we go. A fairly decent amount of, of digging. You can see right here, we've, we've not only gotten level 30, but we now have gotten level 60. Level 60 means we can dig tunnels, which has me very excited. So we're going to come down here to, to the water line, which is pretty much right here. Uh, that may be a little too close, so we're going to do this, this little hole right here. And we're going to go for terraforming, and we're going to dig a damn tunnel. You can't terraform that part of terrain, it's too far. Try it with neighboring cells. So that means we're probably too close to the water again. So let's try it right here. Uh, terraforming, dig a tunnel, and let's see if it'll work here. Uh, okay, so apparently that's not gonna work. Let's try this one. The hell, man? I don't understand. I'm starting to get a little annoyed by this. What do you mean it's too far? Like, I'm, I'm like right here, man. Can we lower? Dig a tunnel downward. No, I can't do that either. What about right here? I mean, we're far away from the from the water. I don't, I don't understand. It says I'm too far away, but I'm like, I'm right here. This makes no sense to me. No sense at all. All right, let's let's try right here. Let's stand in the very middle. Yeah, I can't dig one here either. Okay. Well, fine. I didn't want to dig a stupid tunnel here anyway, and I totally hate you. All right, we're going we're gonna to run up this hill then, and we're going to see if we can't dig a damn tunnel up here by Mole Man Mountain, which is where we wanted to go anyway. So I, I think we'll be happier up here. Uh, oh, apparently I ran out of stamina. That makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Uh, okay, here over here is our, our, little, our little setup where we dug the hole and we were told that we cannot dig any deeper than here. And we want to dig that way. So let's let's try... I think I know the problem now. I think I know the problem. I think the issue was we weren't able to access the side of uh, the area. I think. Um... Yeah, I think that's the problem. Okay, I want to try something real quick. We're just going to come back over here. And the reason we're doing it down here is I'm wanting the um, I'm, I'm wanting the, the clay. And supposedly, you can get clay from the waterline. Because if, if we can't get it from here, we got to cross like the ocean over there. And that's going to be really unfortunate for me. So let's let's run down here real quick. And maybe if we do the, the, the uh, what do you call it? the neighboring cell so if we're we're here so we'll, we'll try it right here is it right where is it where is it no 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 try it damn it bobby can we there it goes yeah you can't look at it directly you have to it's, you can't be standing in the cell basically you have to look at the cell next to it that's the issue so that that totally 
totally makes sense. All right, so we got some rock, but we didn't get any any clay. So we'll, we'll try it again. This one's about as close to the waterline as we can possibly get without actually being, like, in the ocean. Like, under the damn sea. You can see over in the other place we were getting forest soil, whereas here we're getting rock. Which is kind of cool. We are going to be able to use the rock um, to turn it into to different building materials. Which we can actually use to start building our house. But if we can't get... If we can't get any clay, we're really going to be screwed. We're going to be completely stuck and it's not going to matter anyway. So I'm, I'm hoping that once this hole actually gets dug, we can get some clay. Because otherwise we're in trouble. Come on now. Work with me here, Cletus. I'm also a little bummed by my lack of ability to actually make progress into the, uh, into the actual freaking hole i mean we're like we're not even moving man we're digging a tunnel but i'm, I'm not feeling very very tunnely i don't know about you guys but but does this feel like a tunnel to you i, I still like i don't even notice a a lower degradation here and we've we've dug we've dug quite a bit there may be a slight degradation a slight degradation i can't really tell hang on do another dig real quick and see if we get any progress at all. Nope. No progress. All right, let's pull up our, our little thing. So we... Holy shit, dude. We got a shit ton of this stuff. Now, we can pour this stuff on the ground, which is obviously not what we want to do. Um, I should be able to shape this stuff. Can shape rock for different stone objects. Well, that's great. How does... How doth one go about... Oh. I bet I know why. I bet I know why. Where's the stick? Alright, create a primitive tool. We need a hammer, I'm betting. Yeah, see, hammers actually use rock. Ah, oh, shit, we don't have any... We don't have any of the special, uh, the special sauce, as I'm calling it. Alright, let's, let's, let's run up here to get our, our special sauce real quick. We, we put our special sauce up here. Um, actually, you know what, since we need more, I'm just gonna take it out of here real quick. Uh, construction, no, farming. Wait. Nature's lore. Gather plant fibers. There we go. We will just go ahead and scoop some different stuff out of here real quick. Hopefully we actually get some plant fiber. You failed to find anything? Are you serious? There's plant fibers everywhere, bro. Check again. Check again. That's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. Come on now. And... Really? All right, what about up here where the, I mean, there's an actual plant on this little area here. If I don't get some plant fibers off this place, I'm gonna have to have some strong words with the server. Really strong words. I'm gonna have to bust out with a thesaurus and give it a, a strong talking to. Not just your, your normal everyday, you know, harsh language. We're gonna have to get creative on this. Although it, it seems to be, it seems to be working out in our favor. Uh, although I do find it a little interesting that I'm able to have like 56,000 different uh, like rocks in my inventory, but um, you know, like 16 sand, or not 16 sand, 75 sand is a problem. Although sand is kind of heavy. If you've never actually picked up like, okay, we're out. If you've never actually picked up a ridiculous amount of sand, then you, you don't really know what you're, you're dealing with. But go try and pick up like... I don't know, 300 pounds of sand. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but that shit is heavy. Okay, I think our hole that we've been digging is right here. No. I think it's, is it here? Yeah, that looks a little lower. No. It's gotta be here. Oh, god dang it. Terraforming, all right, dig a tunnel. All right, so that's where we wanna get it set up. Okay, let's go ahead and build our hammer real quick. So, right-clicking on the logs, construct a primitive tool, select hammer, it's hammer time. Drag you over, drag you over, and drag you over. Craft. That should work. That should work. Theoretically. And hopefully, once we have a hammer, we can do something magical 
you know, like unicorn magical with these rocks. There we go. Now we got the hammer and it's still wanting me to pour it on the ground. What is wrong with you? Is there like a chisel or something? Uh, we can make a sling. That's cool. I definitely want to make a sling. Primitive crucible and stick. What the hell is a crucible and stick? Pickaxe, saw. Yeah, I don't think we really need any of this stuff. I mean, we've got our hammer. Maybe I have to right click on the hammer? Let's go ahead and close this. Let's try right clicking on the hammer. Drop equip. Ah, I bet it's because it's not equipped. I bet it's because it's not equipped. What are we going to unequip to equip this is the question. Our axe. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And we're still getting poor on the ground. That is that is very problematic. What about this one? No. Nope. I mean, it's kind of cool that I can pour them on the ground. I'm wondering if pouring them on the ground would allow me to to modify them. Maybe. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna keep trying to dig this tunnel a little bit deeper. Uh, we'll do maybe three, maybe four more swipes on this. I think we're gonna be bumping into problems though soon um, if we keep trying to dig in here because we're, we're gonna get overburdened with rock. I mean, we've, we've already done what? We're at, uh, how many rocks do we have? We have like 63, so I mean, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of, uh, of digging. A whole lot, yeah. And I, I still don't have my, my magical tunnel, which which is hurtful. It's very hurtful. And the problem with it is until I get the tunnel, it's kind of hard for me to delineate where the tunnel is. So if I go off like we did a minute ago, like coming back and finding the tunnel again is challenging. You know, I mean, you can kind of look and, and, and if you can see, you can kind of figure out where the, the, the hole, so to speak, is. Um, Possibly, but you would you would think with all of my Okay, now we're overburdened. So yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna run out of run out of uh, Ability to dig here in a second So I'm gonna take these rocks back up Yeah, we're gonna take these rocks back over here and I'll drop them on the ground now. I'm gonna drop them on the God it always freaks me out when I hear that footprint noise Okay Create, uh, again, we don't need clay, so I guess we'll just drop the rocks on the ground. Uh, pour on the ground. Okay. Go ahead and pour some more on the ground. And pour some more on the ground. Wow, that is a lot of rocks. And it's kind of cool how I'm getting, um... Terraforming just for doing this, which is kind of cool. It's also a little weird that it's using the shovel I don't understand why it's using the shovel just to pour them. All right, so now that I've got these down here Is there anything I can do construction materials? Uh, all we can do is build a furnace which is obviously Not something that we're wanting to do here, which is a little weird a little weird. I don't understand Why it is doing that yeah so, all right, well, I guess we're gonna just head back to the beach and I'm gonna keep trying to dig this damn tunnel. And hopefully, eventually, we get a tunnel dug. Once we do, we'll pick up there and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so after some extensive digging, as you guys can see, and, and I do wanna go ahead and say for the record that uh, this game, this game makes mining in Minecraft look like child's play uh, to give you guys an idea how much mining I've done these are the rocks that I have pulled out eight at a time out of these holes over here and uh, part of the reason I dug these holes was um, and I know it's dark and I apologize but hopefully you guys can still see um, this right here is actually water so you can see we can actually gather water now, which is kind of interesting because I don't actually have a container to place the water in. So I'm not sure how I'm gathering water when I can't actually because I, I don't have any cups. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. Uh, if you look in the system thing, well, actually it said I got some water that time, but but I don't know where's the, where's the water. Ah, there it is. Okay. So I at first I didn't think you could gather water, but... Apparently, I, I can gather water, um, just not every time. 
which is kind of weird. So apparently it's only um, every other time or so? I mean, I'm not going to... Well, no, now I'm getting it every time. So I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to keep getting my water. And I think we needed eight of this. We have four, so we'll just keep uh, we'll keep going at that. Now, the reason I dug this secondary ditch over here in the water was because I was hoping that um, one of the forum posts that I read was was accurate. And what one of the forum posts said was, if you um, yeah, we're not getting any more water there. If you uh, dig into the to the near the water, but not quite at the water, but near the water, and then if you dig the side of the wall, then you will get some clay. And I was kind of excited about that because I, I did manage to dig this secondary hole here and I was hoping that if I dug this wall right here that I would get some clay. But I've dug on it like five or six times now and the only thing I'm getting is, as you'll see here in just a second, the only thing we're getting is sand and stone. Yeah, we got sand and rock. So I'm, I'm not getting any clay like I was hoping. Uh, I've tried this side here as well, which is very hard to target. With the water in here like this, it's very hard to target this sidewall because you keep targeting the water or you keep targeting the top. Uh, so it's it's very it's very challenging. I've tried digging down. I've tried digging sideways and a, and a few other things, and it, it pretty much always just gives me sand and rock. So I'm thinking we're going to actually have to make a a jaunt over to uh, well here. Let me turn my mic. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a, a, a small jaunt here to, to Doom Mountain. So in the next video, you're gonna see me picking up, I'm gonna probably be located probably right around here or maybe right around here because these are the four clay deposits here. There's a clay deposit there and then there's a clay deposit here. So I'm, I'm probably gonna walk to this one right here and hopefully my mouse cursor is showing up, uh, the one that's just south of the peak. And uh, we'll, we'll set up there and we'll see we'll see if we can't get some some stuff going. Uh, it does mean I'll have to abandon my uh, my little area here. But in all honesty, other than you know my my shitty little dune setup here and my my rock fort that I've made, uh, and then placing this this furnace thing here, uh, we're we're not really missing out on anything. So that is the mountain. You can see it off in the distance, which is kind of funny. You can see it better at night than you can see it in the daytime, which I don't quite understand, but I'm not questioning it. Uh, we're going to head over in that direction. Um, hopefully I can make it. Hopefully we don't get killed by wild animals. And uh, we'll start digging Mount Doom over there. Uh, one of the concerns I do have, though, is uh, level 90. This is where you get hardening the mine walls and preventing cave-ins. I don't know if cave-ins are actually implemented yet, but I know hardening the walls is not. So I have two concerns about that. One, if cave-ins are not implemented yet then that means I could build an entire subterranean base in the mountain. The problem is if they get implemented and the world doesn't get wiped when I update it, I'm worried that my whole base will cave in on itself. Uh, it just kind of depends on how they implement it. Uh, if it's anything like Minecraft, I might have the opportunity to update the blocks before that happens. Um, and then once they update, they might collapse. I, I just, I'm a little concerned, so we'll see. But either way, uh, we are going to head over there to the clay area so that we can start building our furnace. And then hopefully at that point, we'll be able to start making some more stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.